right, for dinner we are going to be making a creamy, cheesy, garlic, spinach, spaghetti squash. So I got a picture right here. Hopefully I can see it. And it has 538 calories per serving. It has 24 grams of carbs, 33.1 gram of fat, 46.6 gram of protein. Now if you want less protein, less carbs, you do not have to use all the ingredients that I have. Um, but I have Purdue fresh ground chicken, lean chicken, and it is better to eat ground chicken because it's 150 calories and it's better than the turkey, but you can also use turkey because that's a light protein as well. And then I have some Parmesan cheese right here, mozzarella cheese, well I have them backwards, and it has some mushrooms. I have some onions, cream cheese, that's an ounce because I'm only making one serving but I have two I have to do. And the cheese that I um, bought was this, hopefully I can see it. And then I have some creamy spinach that I bought, the green giant creamy spinach. And then the seasonings I'm going to be using, Mrs. Dash is salt free so you don't have to worry about your salt intake. I have some garlic right here. I have salt free seasoning right here and then to make it more garlicky I have garlic salt right here which I'm going to use instead of using my salt and I have pepper so what we're going to do first is cook our meat and I'm only going to cook half of this meat because we don't need the whole container. And I have my skillet on medium high. Make sure you cook your meat first. I want to add just a touch of butter. tablespoon and I'm going to mix this up and at this time I'm actually going to season it with some Mrs. Dash um, some garlic salt and a little bit of pepper And we're going to mix this all up and cook the ground chicken. Okay, now you got to fry Alright, so now I have the ground chicken cooked. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add the spinach in there. Which once you open the container or the package, the spinach looks like this. And this spinach is a serving for two. So I'm going to put this in here. To have your ground chicken cooked, we're going to open the container of spinach, creamy spinach from Green Giant, and we're going to add it into our meat. And you want to cut your heat down to medium low. Squeeze everything out this package. Now, if you don't want to use spinach, you can use broccoli as a substitute or add in, or you can do spinach and broccoli. But I don't think I want to do both, just one. I'm going to mix that in. Okay. 
And I think I want to turn it up back to medium. Now at this time, you want to add your cream cheese in, which is an ounce. I'm going to add two because I'm cooking for two. And then I want to add some of my onions in here. And then I'm going to add some mushrooms in here. And I'm going to break them up because they're pretty big. And I have about an ounce of mushrooms in here. And I'm going to mix all this up and let it cook and simmer. I'm going to add a little bit of my garlic salt. And a little bit of real garlic. Maybe a tablespoon. And may add a little garlic juice in here too. Then we're going to mix it all up. Eat this by itself. And let that cook for about. Okay, so stir it up a couple times in between them two or three minutes that you need to let everything cook together. And make sure you taste it. So it's seasoned to your liking. Mm, yes. Now I know y'all like where's the butter or the spaghetti squash. And I actually have it right here. So if you don't know how to cook spaghetti squash, it's really easy and simple. It comes round like this. And what you really want to do is just cut it in half. And then you want to open it up, put a little oil. And then you want to put salt and pepper and you want to bake it. Now if you're in a rush, you don't have to bake it. You can put it in the microwave on high for about 5 to 8 minutes. And once you get done baking it or microwaving it, you want to take your fork and you want to scrape it out like so. So I'm going to show you just how I'm going to scrape it out. Just like this. Okay. And then when you get done scraping it out, it's going to look like this. So once you get done scraping it out, I'm going to put this to the side. Once you get done scraping it out, and make sure you scrape it out really, really good. Like I'm doing right now. Next thing you want to do is add some of your filling into this. Or you can add this into that. But since this is two servings, I'm going to break it in half. And I'm going to add the spaghetti squash into this. And if you did a really good job, you're going to scrape a lot of it out. And this is only 30 calories. If you just eat it plain by itself, when you scrape it out, this is what it's going to look like. A little boat, a canoe. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and scrape the other one out as well. You're going to need a fork for this. And if it doesn't scrape out easy like this, you need to microwave it a little bit longer or you need to put it in the oven and let it finish baking. And it took me about an hour to cook these. So it's pretty good to cook them in the morning. And then by the time you're ready to cook dinner like I am, 
it's already ready for you. And I don't know how it tastes in the microwave, but a lot of people say it's the same. I prefer the oven just to roast it. Alright, I'm going to scrape it out. And then you just want to mix it up with your sauce. This makes a lot. So mix it up really good. Taste it. If you need some more seasoning, add it. And I think I'm going to taste it. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the garlic seasoning and the um, salt-free seasoning. Now you want to put your oven on to 300 or 350. So it can be hot by the time you have to twice bake this. And again, make sure you stir all the flavors up together. Now I'm going to add my cheese, the Parmesan, half of that, and the mozzarella. And you're going to mix it up. You mix it up, try it for the final time. Really good. And then you're going to fill up your boats again. And if you take out the ground chicken, it's going to be a vegetarian meal. And this is going to be like a two day meal because I wouldn't finish eating this whole thing. Alright, so when you're done, you're going to flip the boat or the boat back up. Alright, so once you fill up both of your boats. It's patted down like so. And remember, each of these is a serving for a person. And I think the serving for this was 538 calories. So each of these is a serving per person. So next thing you want to do is just add your cheese on top. And you want to stick this in the oven. You can put it on broil or you can stick it in the oven to bake for two to three minutes. And this is how it looks before you stick it in the oven. Alright, and then when you take it out the oven, it should look like this. Bubbly, crispy, golden, brown on top. The boats are done. The spinach and everything is done inside. These are the bones. So yeah, this is 538 calories per serving. So this whole boat is 538 calories. I doubt you're going to eat this whole thing unless you have an 8-hour day. Um, but it's really good and tasty. And how about you give it a try. And this is what I'm going to have for dinner today.